Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I've got a Tesco shopping haul for you today. Uh, we eat like a vegetarian diet, I suppose, or sometimes plant-based. Um, so a lot of, there is no meat in, in our shopping. Uh, there is the occasional bit of dairy, but actually I'm not sure if there is any today. There might not be. Uh, sorry, I was just looking because it's just over there. <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you what we've got and give you a little bit of a, a meal plan to tell you what I've got planned for meals this week. Some of the food uh, for the meals I already have, so I didn't have to buy that. Um, but I'll let you know. So let's start over here with the sort of miscellaneous -y type stuff that doesn't fit into a dinner, but it's for school lunches and things. So I've got a 30 pack of crisps. Um, I've just got some, uh, what's it called? Fabric softener. And I got myself this because it was on offer and I love this one. It's so nice. Um, so I got that. I uh, just got one of these refill Carex things. Uh, I've got some brioche rolls, which the girls just have for snacks when they get in from school. Uh, I've got a loaf of seeded bread. I've got these lentil chips. Uh, these were on offer as well. I think they're only about a pound a pack. Um, so I really like them. So I've got three of them. I've got some of these smoothies for the girls' lunches. Again, I only buy these when they're on offer. So I think these were on offer at £1.50 uh, each pack. I've got some broccoli because... Um, I always have broccoli and then I just tend to serve it with whatever I can really, just to add some extra veg in. Uh, got some conference pears and I got <laughs> lots of cup of soups. Because <laughs> again, they're on offer, so I thought I might as well stock up and Craig likes to have these as a little snack or sometimes he takes them into work. So I just got cream of asparagus, some minestrone, potato and leek, cream of vegetable, these Heinz tomato ones, and this cream of mushroom, so lots of them. Also got some of these um, lentils that Craig takes to work for his lunch. Got two packs of ginger. Uh, Craig puts that into like little, well, into soups or whatever, or he just has it as like a ginger tea, so just puts it in hot water and then drinks that. Uh, which is great, it's really good for you, but it burns my throat. <laughs> and then I've got these for the girls' lunches, so the Fruisilli, Fruisley, don't know how you say that, raisin and hazelnut, they normally have the blueberry ones, but I couldn't find them on Tesco, so we just got them ones. Uh, these yogurt breaks, I also got these serene, got banana one, and just these malt loaf ones for in their lunches as well. I've got a pack of two avocados, because we have already got some, but, um, Lucy likes to have these, and Chloe, but Lucy really likes this on toast, so I've got some of them. And then back here, I've got two packs of cashews, because we eat quite a few cashews. And also, uh, these go into one of the recipes. In fact, I'm going to move one pack over, and you'll see that in a minute. <laughs> I've got these, two of these miso pastes, because um, Craig makes up a miso soup for his breakfast, which I know sounds strange but he'll do that with hot water some ginger some uh, garlic some spring onions which i've got here as well uh, and some chilies that we've got we've got grown in the garden so he adds all that and it is really good for you uh, i've just got one of these just to have in the cupboard i've got a melon because i love the galia melons i've got some pink lady apples some lemons and limes because um we just put that into water as well uh, and it's a nice vitamin c boost i got some wraps um, which the girls can use for lunches or i cut them up into triangles and cook them uh, and then they're like little tortilla chip things that you can then dip in hummus got some tin tomatoes because um, i just needed to stock up on them and i think they come into one of the recipes this week as well i got some chickpeas uh, Craig also takes them in for lunch sometimes. It's all wet because I still wash my shopping down, but it's still a bit wet. Um, and also I've been cooking these and adding sort of spices and stuff to them and they're really nice as a snack. Uh, black beans, because I like to have them in the cupboard. We eat quite a lot of them. Hummus, great for a snack. We dip in um, pita bread, which I've got here. So I, I toast it, cut them up and they dip them in there or carrot, cucumber, pepper, mushrooms, anything really. Oh, mushrooms, because Lucy likes to eat them raw as well. Got coleslaw, right, I think we're getting on to, no, that does go in a meal. Move that over. 
Okay, got some garlic bread. Not really sure why I got garlic bread. I think it was already in my shop thing and I just left it in there. So that'll go with something, it'll get eaten. Got some spinach, again, it gets added into quite a lot of things and we use it in um, smoothies. I've got some growing at the allotment, but it's not quite ready yet. So I had to buy some. Got two almond milks, because we don't have um, cow's milk. So we girls use them in anything that requires milk, really, um, including, I use it in, um, pancakes they used to have it in their cereal i got two ready rolled short cross pastry because i've been making veggie um because i've been making veggie pasties and the girls have been taking them to school as well so for their lunch so i've got two of them this i found it i saw it when i was looking for something some veggie sausages i think and i thought Hmm, that looks nice we'll give it a go so i'm not really sure when we're going to eat it but it just looked nice so yeah and also this as well when i was looking for tofu i've not seen this one before so i've got some of that to try as well so i'm not sure when we're going to have that i've got two of these little pizzas these are only like 49p each um that i'll cook them up and the girls will have them for school lunch as well right now we're getting onto the stuff for the meals so this dijon mustard goes over here that goes with the we've got vegan macaroni and cheese so that's the macaroni the cashews that i was saying about earlier go into making the sauce along with the dijon mustard and then the rest of the stuff i've got as well it's um the happy pear recipe uh out of one of their books and it's really really nice and i'm hoping to have some left over for the next day so the girls can take it for lunch i've got two packs of sweet potatoes a few of the recipes this week include that, including the coconut curry, um, well, no, the coconut curry lentil dal we've got. Um, I've already got the, the lentils, so I just needed some um, sweet potatoes. And also I make sweet potato wedges as well, which we'll be having with some courgette fritters on Saturday. So I've got that. Um, then I've got two packs of this tofu. I normally get the smoked one, but it was out of stock. So I just got the naked one. And we have, it's like a sweet chili um, tofu. Recipes on my blog, if you want to go and have a look. But that includes the sweet chili and then the other stuff for the sauce I've already got. And I've got some brown basmati whole grain rice, because that will go with that. And it would also go with the curry dal as well. I've got a butternut squash. Uh, because I like to get the butternut squash because we have it as soup or I will add it into the roasted veg at the weekend that we've got that we'll be having with this gnocchi um, and the rest of the veg I've already got. I've got these meat-free sausages, which we've not had these ones before, but when I used to eat normal sausages, I did like the Richmond ones, so I thought I'd give these ones a go. We normally get uh, the Lindsay McCartney ones, um so yeah i'm gonna give them a go because we've got a veggie sausage and white bean stew uh, later on in the week so that will go in that and then i got these to go with um what did i get these to go with i think these are going to go with the um macaroni cheese so something just to bulk it out a bit and they did make me laugh so these ones are called little peckers and they're like a chickeny substitute and then i got some little willies which did make me chuckle because i'm such a child um, but someone recommended these so i got some of them uh just to try really so um i'm not sure when we'll have that we might have maybe might have this i like a little uh, veggie fry up so we might get them for that and then tonight we've actually got jacket potato um, and salad because I've got lots of salad at the allotment that needs using so I've got coleslaw to go on the potatoes now I had two whole packs of these because standard when you're doing an online shop is that you make a mistake I thought I was ordering the pack you know the pack of four you get so I ordered two thinking I'd have eight now I've got I don't know about 20 baked baking potatoes so I'm not sure we'd eat all of them in one <laughs> Uh, before they start sprouting so I might give one pack to my mum and dad but yeah made a mistake there so that's all our meals so yes we've got jacket potato 
and salad. Then we've got tofu and rice. Then we've got the vegan mac and cheese. Then the coconut um, lentil dough, which does is the rice and has that in, but the other bits I've already got. And then we've got veggie sausage and white bean casserole. I've already got the white beans in the cupboard. I like to have beans and stuff so that I can just randomly make stuff up if I need to. Um, Saturday, we've got courgette fritters. And what was I going to do with the courgette fritters? Oh, sweet potato wedges and probably some salad as well. The courgettes, I don't know if I've already said I've already got because I grow them at the allotment. And then on Sunday, we're just going to have some roasted veg, which again, most of it I've got, but it will also have that in it and some sweet potato and some peppers I've got growing in the garden. And that will be with the gnocchi. So that's all our shopping. And I did get some dog food as well. And it, I think it comes about £122, which is quite a lot really, but it's things like this. I've not been buying these um, with the girls being off school, but I needed some more lunchy sort of stuff. And I also added in these extra bits that we don't actually need this week, but I saw them and thought, hmm, let's give them a go. So that's what I did. So that's our shopping Tesco shop for this week.